I'm Laura Patone, and I'm running to serve my fourth term to represent Ward 5 on the Somerville School Committee. Thank you to the Somerville Media Center for creating this forum to inform the community about municipal candidates for the November 2019 election. Thank you to the Ward 5 voters for your support in the last three elections and your continued support this November. I have truly enjoyed the challenge of serving on the Somerville School Committee. Somerville residents are passionate about our students and schools, and my work becomes more interesting and relevant in response to residents' concerns and their participation in conversations about students and schools. I can't believe six years have passed since I first ran for office. I hosted my first kickoff at the Armory Cafe, which as a side note, my son is now old enough to work at. There were many young kids running around, as well as parents and concerned residents that chose to get involved and support my campaign. Last month, I watched some of those same kids walk across the stage and receive their Somerville High School diplomas. It was incredibly moving. But kids growing up is not the only change I've seen in the last six years. There's been a great deal of change in our district, including leadership changes, increased outside investment, and a continued evolution of the school committee itself to increase community engagement and expand our long-term planning. Changes in leadership have included hiring a new superintendent in 2015, Mary Skipper, and significant changes to school committee membership. Since I first ran in 2013, every school committee seat has turned over, some more than once, including three open seats in the current election this November. In addition to leadership changes, there have been increases in outside investment. Over the last few years, the district has secured over $2.9 million in grant funds in support of preschool, mental, and behavioral health services and other initiatives. This has included planning to reimagine the educational experience at Somerville High School to be more personalized, more flexible, and allow all students a significant out-of-the-classroom learning experience. This rethinking of the Somerville High School experience is a great complement to the new facility currently under construction. I want to thank Somerville Public School administrators for their hard work to increase grant funding to meet district goals and the voters for supporting the new Somerville High School building. I would also like to thank the mayor and city council for continuing to thoughtfully consider and support the Somerville Public Schools budget requests over the last several years. The last change I would like to share is the continued evolution of the school committee work, building on the efforts of previous school committee members. There has been progress on the road to increased communication and transparency, including adopting, adopting open public comment in our regular televised meetings which parents, community members, and students have taken advantage of and has informed the efforts of administration and the school committee. We've implemented twice yearly coordinated office hours, which we publicized together, creating 10 or more opportunities for residents to meet with school com committee members across the city. And I've increased my own communication through more frequent newsletters and social media updates. If you are interested in hearing more, please register for updates on my website, laurapatone.com or follow my Facebook page, Laura Patone Ward 5. And please stay posted for more improvements to access to school committee work that are in process. There's also been enhanced collaboration between the school district and the city, including establishing an annual joint budget meeting with city council and school committee to understand the current fiscal health of the city as context to develop the school district's budget. School committee members continuing to serve on committees such as the master planning, focusing on more efficient use of city facilities and the parking task force. And most significantly, with very little fanfare, creating the Children's Cabinet, which is a city, school, and community partnership dedicated to the well-being of children in Somerville. Their focus has been access to and quality of early childhood and out-of-school time programming in the city for our children, including a significant early childhood programming grant, as well as hiring a city out-of-school time coordinator. These investments are targeted to address the student performance achievement gap that plagues urban public schools. If you want to learn more, search for Children's Cabinet on the city's website. I would also like to acknowledge the recent inclusion and prioritization of schoolyards in open space planning work. The Argenziano School and Winter Hill have seen beautiful renovations, plans on the works at the Healy, and initial efforts have begun to consider the Brown, West Somerville, and Kennedy school yards. Thanks again to this for community and school committee advocacy to focus energy on schoolyards in addition to parks. And over the last few years, the school committee has expanded the long-term view of our work in our efforts to address complex topics such as equity and enrollment. 
The school committee cannot solely operate with the lens of a school or schools in their ward. ward. It is our responsibility to work together to consider both individual schools and the district as a whole. And only then can we successfully pursue these complex topics. With respect to equity, decoupling the link between educational outcomes and any personal characteristic, including socioeconomic status or race, is the root of achieving equity. For example, students of color have lower academic achievement and graduation rates, higher dropout and suspension rates, and fewer college and career opportunities than their white peers. We are responsible to address these inequities. The school committee equity policy currently in the works will establish the vision and mission for this work. And there still are a great deal of questions to consider for this policy. I encourage you to read and share your feedback on the draft I've posted on my website. And enrollment is a bit of a misnomer. It is the starting point for strategy and planning activities that can shape what our schools could look like in the future to better meet the needs of all students. Without this work, schools evolve incrementally or reactively as needs evolve. Predicting who may be coming to our schools from where in the city and how many based on past enrollment as well as future development plans in the city, new housing rules and construction plans will allow leadership to make facility and programming plans in the best interest of all future students. That is a long-winded way of saying, the more we know, the better we can plan for the future and this requires the investment of time and resources. I have really enjoyed being part of the Somerville School Committee and excited about our focus on community engagement, equity, access, and excellence for all our students. I hope I have your continued support for my campaign to again represent Ward 5 on the School Committee, and even more importantly, your engagement and continued efforts to share your concerns and excitement about Somerville Public Schools with me and my colleagues on the School Committee. To learn more about me, please visit my website at laurapatone.com. And please continue to email, call, stop me on the bike path or the soccer field to share your thoughts and concerns. And not just to the school committee, but please also share your thoughts to teachers, staff, and administration. You are the eyes and ears of our community, and it is the voices of students, families, and community that will continue to shape the experiences at several public schools. Thank you.